Hi everybody, it's Diana with StampingWithDie.com. Welcome to my YouTube channel and this week's Teach Me Tuesdays episode 171. And I'm going to show paper piecing today. So if you have never been to my channel, welcome. If you have been, welcome back. My name is Diana and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator and I'm in Santan Valley, Arizona. So a while ago, I during one of my other videos, I, I got talking about paper piecing. I can't remember what I was talking about, but anyways, and I said I would have to do a video in regards to it and a lot of you said yes, please. So that's what we're gonna do today. So basically paper piecing is just a fun way of um, adding texture, adding DSP to a stamp. So if you um, loved playing with paper dolls as a kid, I know I did, um, this is what it kind of reminds me of. We're kind of making our own paper dolls. So that's what we're gonna um, have fun with today. You also wanna find um, DSP that kind of has small patterns, um, close patterns, because um, that way you can take advantage of, of the many, many um, designer series papers that we have in the catalogs. So I'm gonna um, stop blatting. I'm gonna turn my camera, so close your eyes just for a second while I get adjusted. All right, so we are going to, so what I did was I went through the catalog and I kind, kind of found some stamp sets. You want an open line set. And when I say open line, I mean like a coloring book set. So this is open line, right? So you can go in there and you can color it. So that is the best one to use for paper piecing. So I, I grabbed best day. Um, I grabbed a count on me. I'm doing the by my side kids again. And I grabbed a playing in the rain as well. So those were just the few um, that I picked. But oh my gosh, we have so many sets in the catalog and we have so many DSPs that you really, um, it would be like endless. So let's first do the little boy. So we're going to do the little boy. So I'm just using my memento and I'm just going to give the... Um, camera a second to adjust all right so we want a piece of dsp a piece of um basic white i don't know what the camera is doing i apologize what are you doing all right let's see let's see if that stays good all right, um, so I'm just going to stamp. So I want to stamp my little boy on my basic white. I got a new computer, so I might have to go into my settings maybe. All right, so I'm just going to stamp my little boy. So maybe my settings got messed with. All right, so we're going to stamp our little boy on our basic white. And then what I'm gonna do is I have a couple different DSPs. And so this is from, so this is Country Floral and Regency Park. I had to write myself a note so I remembered what I was using. So we're going to stamp the little guy on some of the Regency Park. And that's pretty dark, it's hard to see. I'm also gonna stamp his little shirt on here. So I'm gonna go back and forth to see if I can see the lines. So that looks good. All right. So we're just going to set these aside and then I'm just going to quickly come over to my little boy and I'm just going to give him a color. So 
me throw all those around. All right, so we're just gonna do a little bit of coloring on our little boy. So this is just flirty. And then I'll do the petal. And what's fun is we don't need to color in his clothing because we're basically using the DSP, the designer series paper, to make his clothes. So this is just a dark petal and then the light petal. And let's quickly do his hair. So number 600. And then I'll do number 400. And let's do his little shoes as well. Just add a little bit so his hair isn't just all one, one color. Okay. All right. So now what I want to do is now eventually I would color the little dog, right? I would just color it. So let's take a little bit of parakeet so that we can ground our little dog and our little boy. So I'm just going to take some parakeet so they're walking along the grass. I also want to take a bit of light gray granite and we're just going to put a little bit of light gray granite just around the left side of the little boy and the little dog because we are not cutting these out. We're leaving them right on the card and by outlining this a little bit it just makes it pop off the page a little bit. So it looks like, you know, you have popped it off the page. All right, so now let's bring our little um, piece of DSP over. So I wanna cut out his little shirt. So I'm going to cut on the line here, his little shirt. Now when you're doing this, you kinda wanna pay attention to what lines you're cutting and what lines you are not cutting. So I want his little head to be kind of more in the front. So when I cut out his shirt, I'm going to cut away this line so that I just have the shirt. So see, there's no line on the top of his shirt because I'm going to use the line that's on the bottom of his head. So also, on his t-shirt where ha they have these cute little lines that kind of go you know out of his shorts and out of his shirt I don't need to worry about cutting those because they will be on the actual card all right so then we'll cut his little arm so the same thing I want his arm wait 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 yep because sometimes I I go oh my gosh I cut that wrong all right so we want his little arm so we're cutting his arm away. Okay. So there's his little shirt. Now let's bring his shorts over. And we're going to tuck his the shorts into his shirt. So this is kind of dark. So it's a little bit, but I wanted it to look like blue jean shorts. And I'm going up. So I'm bringing my shorts up so that they're not like really, really skinny. It almost looks like a mini skirt. All right. But so we're going to glue our shorts on first and then we're going to put the shirt over top of it. So what we can do is we will just take our green tip glue and we can put the glue right on here because we're just covering that up. So we're going to put our little green tip glue that I've put in the little bottle. And then let's pick our shorts up and we're just going to drop them right on top. 
of there. So we have our little shorts right on our little boy. And just get a little bit of that glue away. There we go. All right, now let's bring our shirt over. Now I can see my shirt on here as well. So we're just going to put some glue on here. And this just brings our little people to life. So it's fun. So then you can see what I mean by you want to pick, um, you know, a designer series paper that has, you know, like a small print. So let's bring his little shirt over and we'll drop that right on there. So now his shirt overhangs his shorts. So let me bring that up so you can see. So now he's got this cute little shirt on and his little shorts. So he's all ready, you know, to go to town. So what I'll do is I will finish this and, um, you know, make a card. So let's do another one. So let's do this little cutie. So we're going to do uh, this little girl. And I love this paper. Now this paper is flowers and more. And I had not even used this paper yet. So we're going to use this little girl. So again, I'm going to stamp her first on my cardstock, my basic white. And then that's where we're gonna glue everything. And then over here on this cute paper, I'm gonna stamp her little dress and I wanna try to get purple and pink on her little dress. So let me see how good I did. Whew, that looks good. All right, so then we'll do the same thing. So we'll cut this out. Now, of course, I would color her, you know, like I did the little boy. I would, you know, get her colored all cute. So let's cut out the little dress. And then sometimes it, it's handy to have the stamp in front of you so that you can see what you need to cut out. You can also see here, too. Um, because sometimes when you have the um, designer series paper, sometimes it can be hard. You're like looking at it going, oh, am I cutting that out? What is that? Because like her little hand is like right there. And then her little skirt. So she's fairly easy to cut out. Okay. So her little dress is going to go right along here. And her little hand is right there. So all I have to do is cut her little hand away. Like that. And again, just like yesterday, you want a nice sharp pair of scissors. And then we will glue her cute little dress on. Now pretend I glued it. But look how cute that little dress is going to be. Oh my gosh, so cute. So here's one I colored earlier. So I colored her and I did the same thing. So I have that little bit of grass underneath. I colored her little dress. I put that little bit of gray granite around the edge so it kind of pops off the page. And she is all dressed ready for a party. So again, I'll finish that later. All right, so that was flowers and more. Let's do a different one. So let's do this paper. Now this is Tea Boutique. So this is Tea Boutique. So you just kind of want to look at your um, DSP. And like I said, find something that has smallish kind of print. This is great. It has these really cute little flowers in there. So this time we're going to do this little girl. So let me get my paper first. So we'll ink her all the way up. And I'm just stamping them in the center because I am going to come back 
and make cards with them. So you want to make sure you come back on Friday for my dyes shorts. And then I will have finished cards done with them. Maybe I'll make make one from the beginning. But I will um, show you them, you know, made. But this today we're just talking paper piecing. All right, so let's ink up our little girl. And, oh my gosh, like where did I put her? That is craziness. Oh, she's way over here. Why did I put her over there? I don't even know. All right, so let's ink up her dress. And let's try to get a flower on there. Let's see, did I get the flower? Oh, I did, I did, I did, I did. Okay, so this is really cute paper. All right, so then we're just gonna cut like that. And the same thing. So then you just want to, um, so I want her head, just like before, with the little boy. I want her head to be the main thing. So I'll cut that line away. But when you do her arms, I want to make sure that I leave that line. So I'm just going to cut this out quick. Cut that out like that. So doesn't this remind you of paper dolls? Oh my gosh. I used to love playing with Barbies, paper dolls. Okay. So let's see. So let's bring this little girl over. And then her little dress. So look how cute that little dress is on there. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. Look how adorable. So there she is with her little dress. And of course, I'll color her. So here's what I did earlier. So look how fun she is. This almost looks kind of like um, 50s, right? With that little um, flower in the center. So there's that one. So again... I will finish that up. All right, so let me show you other couple ones, and then I want to show you a real fun one at the end. So this is using that um, the fox, but this time I changed her into a little girl fox, and this uses the country gingham, and she is a styling fox because her coat matches her hat, matches her umbrella. And I just couldn't resist. I even gave her a little bit of blue um, eyeshadow. So she is ready to go to a party. So this is the, the DSP I used for that one. All right. Let's see what else did I do. All right, I also did some with the Rain or Shine Designer Series paper. That's what this came from. You've seen me do a lot with the back side of it, so that's this one. And this one I did with the bunny. Because doesn't that look like so cute with the little um, yellow checkered coat with the bunny? So there's that one. All right, let's see what else. Let me do two more. Now this one I'm gonna actually stamp. All right, so we have the fun a little bear. So I'm gonna stamp my bear on my basic white. And again, I'm just stamping it in the center. This way it gives me plenty of room if I wanna use a die to cut this out because I've given myself plenty of room. All right, so we have our cute little bear. We're gonna stamp our bear on here, and you're gonna probably go, well, what the heck are you doing with this one? Well, this little bear is a naked bear, and I don't want a naked bear. I want my bear to have some clothes. So I'm gonna use just a Stampin' Right basic black marker. And I'm just gonna draw a little outfit on him. So I'm going to just put some bibbles on him. 
So I'm going to bring this down so his little, um, you know, what a bib ball looks like. And then I'm going to go like this and then like this and like this so now it looks like he's got bibbles i mean that's what we call them right bibbles or <laughs> something like that but you know what i'm talking about all right so i also want to put a little bit of a waistline so i'll draw this so it could also be like a belt and then let's put just a tiny little pocket So now we'll put a little pocket. So then what I'm going to do now though, with this one is a little bit different. So I'm going to take my light gray granite and I'm going to put a little light gray granite. And you can also add, you know, some colors to the other DSPs as well to add a little shadow here and there. And then around the pocket because it would stick out just a little bit. And then, oh, you know what else I forgot? We need to put some legs. There we go. That looks better. Okay. So then we will trim this out. And again, this is the country gingham. So we'll cut this out. And we'll color our bear so he's all cute. And then we'll cut out the bibbles. Now this time you need to cut the lines that you drew. Because otherwise those lines are gone, right? Because we added these. These aren't already on there. Now of course the side around with his where his furry bear hair is okay but i thought the country gingham paper looked too cute for the bear all right and then we need to cut down here so you'll see his hairy back so when you're coloring the bear keep that in mind when you're coloring him, you need to color, you know, not only his head, but you need to come down a ways and color the bear. Now, I'm just going quick, right, just to show you. But when you're coloring him, you need to make sure that you color his back. Now, you don't necessarily have to color his bum area, but you need to do his feet. And of course you would add, you know, a couple different colors or whatever. But that way, when you glue, when you glue his little outfit on, he's colored behind there. But doesn't he look like so distinguished? All right, so let me, so here he is. So let me show you one I did earlier. So again, this is Country Gingham. And what I did was I also stamped the heart with some more of that country gingham so that he's got a patterned little heart that he's holding. But doesn't that give that bear like a totally different look? All right. And then I think this might be the last one. Yeah, so this is the last one. And so don't let me, don't forget, you wanna make sure you come back Friday and then I'll have We'll make a card and then I'll show you, you know, these cards finished. All right, so same thing. Kitty goes in the center. Okay. And then this is also from that Flowers and More. And this is probably the cutest paper, the stripes, but they're kind of um, crookedy stripes. They're nice and... Um, Squish together. There's not a big amount of space between them, which is perfect when you are doing paper piecing. If there's too much of a space 
and you're only stamping something small, then there's too big of a space and you don't really see it. So this one is perfect. Now, I am very wasteful because I wasn't thinking, so I should have stamped this up here and just did the cupcake um, because now I've wasted, you know, all this paper because I don't need the kitty cat, you know. But anyways, all right, so let me bring this over. But what I want to do on here is I want to take that gray granite and I want to add a little bit of gray granite just to the ends, the edges of my cupcake. And that's just going to darken the edge. And I'm also putting a little bit on these lines. I don't want to put too much. So I'm kind of keeping it within that parakeet color or the granny color. But it's just barely noticeable, but you can see it. All right. Then I also want to take my light poppy parade and I want to color these dots. Because I want these dots to have color on them. And Poppy is a great one. It goes really well with the granny and the parakeet. So this is just a light Poppy. And it just makes that green, you know, pop off of there. And then just take our dark Poppy. And I'm just going to put a little bit here and there on the edge. Not a whole lot. You don't want to over color the DSP because you don't want it to bleed out of the line. So I'm just barely, barely, barely putting any. And then we'll cut just like we did before. And this is a really easy one to cut out. Now when I cut here, I cut along the points. So I cut all the points. So I wiggle and get all my points and then cut, cut your edges. It's a nice wiggly cupcake. And then all you have to do with your um, snips is you're going to come in and you're just going to go to that point, to that point. And then it just cuts all those away because you've already, you know, cut them to the tippy top of the point. All right. So we we'd, we'd cut cut cut, you know, all those out and then we'd stick it on here. Of course, we'd color our kitty. So let me bring my kitty over. But look how cute. Oh my gosh. I think this one is the cutest and I say that about all of them but um so anyway so that is just a really quick little paper piecing class um but it makes makes me go okay so you want to just look at your um you know make sure you look at your I don't know if I showed you this little one finished or not but there's a little boy with the dog colored um so anyway so make sure let me say see you later alligator so so yeah so if, if you've never tried paper piecing give it a try look at your dsp um like i said small patterns lines are awesome especially for that cupcake i have some other lined papers you just want to make sure that the pattern is little that's the whole secret now if you're stamping something big then it's not as, as important, right? If you have a big, big, um, big stamp that has a big open line, um, then you could stamp something that has like a bigger pattern. Um, but the things I picked today are, are smallish. Um, so the smaller DSPs or the smaller lines, like on that green paper, made that cupcake look so cute, I think, with that fat cat in there. So anyways, all right. So like I said, make sure you come back on Friday, three o'clock, arrows at a time, same time, same channel for my dyes shorts. And I'll have some finished cards to share with you and we'll probably make one as well. All right. So I'm going to stop blabbing. Have a great night and um, I will see you Friday. All right. Bye for now.